Hey guys, what's up? It's Austin Cloud the Coast Club today, and I figured I'd make another how to be a fashionable coaster enthusiast video. And as you know, I've been doing this series for a little bit. I have two episodes up now, so go check both those out. Well, both are pretty good, pretty funny. And this one is for Halloween Haunt or Fright Fest events, and I love Halloween season. It just makes you feel so alive and everything. So I'm going to be going over what I personally wear right here, and just my favorite outfits to construct. I know I'm the only roller coaster channel that does this. I don't care. I enjoy the series. I like making it. And it's just it's just fun to create, I guess. So, first outfit, obviously. All right. So, the first one is my It shirt. It is You'll Float 2 with Pennywise. I got this at Walmart. It fits very well around the arms and everything. It just feels really good and everything. It's really it's actually a pretty good fabric, too. And obviously the uh, the gray jeans here, they're a nice contrast with the black and the red and the white. And overall, this is just lightweight, easy for opening nights, you know, where it's kind of like summer weather, but it's still like, okay, we got it. We got to, we got to be pretty good at this. So obviously if you want to throw coaster merch on there, flight deck, 25 glasses, no one ever looked bad in these. And I just love these glasses so much. They're so cool. They're so awesome, and I love them. And if you don't have a pair of Flight Deck 25 sunglasses, which if you are a Great America fan, you need a pair of these because these are the best sunglasses I've ever owned. And that's a fact. So on with the next outfit. And now this is for when it gets colder. This is the second outfit. It is my Apocalypse shirt, which is my... Personal favorite haunted maze. I love it very much, very interactive. But other than that, the shirt looks really cool. And the packet has all the tour dates, which honestly, if you have the chance to do that event, it's pretty much everywhere across the country and the UK. It's very fun. It's not expensive. It's basically laser tag in a zombies maze, and it's actually really well executed. I love it. I highly recommend going to it. But other than that, we have the flannel. I love this flannel so much. It's so warm, it's so cozy. And also same jeans as last time because jeans are awesome. And third outfit, I guess. Now sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, and really not in California, haunt events can get pretty uh, pretty cold. In which case you might need a sweater. And this one is my RVCA sweater. I love this sweater, I've had it since I was like 13 it was oversized then it fits pretty much perfectly now um i love it for the hood in case it rains and the flannel over it oh god i just love the texture against the the grayness of the sweater it's getting very hot in here so i'm just gonna go to my halloween costumes now and uh, you know what i'm gonna you gotta get the glasses up yeah there we go got some nice glasses there and then you have the Flight Deck 25s, which again, look great on pretty much anyone, and especially with this outfit pair. So yeah, that is the third outfit. Now on to my Halloween costumes. This is for, <laughs> I know you haven't seen a single piece of coaster merch in here, but really you could do it with coaster merch. It's all about color matching. I'd recommend something black, gray, or red to go with it, but flannels are awesome. You should really buy a flannel, highly recommend it. I got this one for $8 at Walmart, really good. And now I'm gonna show you guys my masks because that's the best part of Halloween. And this is for actual Halloween, not Halloween haunt. So uh, if you wear this to a park and the park kicks you out, don't blame me. So this is my pumpkin, it's a very good pumpkin and it looks like a pumpkin. It's pretty scary. And it's gonna scare a lot more people on Halloween. So I'm very excited to wear this out in public to scare people. Other than that, it's getting very hot in this mask. I'm going to take this off, put the skull on. Oh, oh God. This is, it's so hot in there. I'm going to have to like, cool it down before Halloween so I don't have to burn my face off. But this is a lot more lightweight. I've had this for uh, I've had this for about three years now. It's my skull mask. It's actually the first Halloween in two years I'm not wearing this. So... Yeah, this one feels a lot better. It's a lot more lightweight. It's a lot more breathable. Um, it again, it's like twenty bucks at Spirit, and that one's twenty four. And this one, it's a lot more lightweight. It's a lot more movable. It's a lot more breathable. 
and it looks really cool. It looks pretty scary. You can put a hood over it for extra scare points, I guess. But overall, this mask's really cool. I like it. And if you want to go for a patriotic scare, well, this next mask is it's definitely for you, that's for sure. Let's take this off really quick. Ugh. Okay. I'm definitely not wearing more than one mask for Halloween this year. Um, let's go with this. I, I got this at Walmart for like a dollar, and it looks good. I was thinking it would be good for a Purge costume. And if you're like me and you have thick hair, you almost always have to wear a hood. So yeah, that's, um, that's this mask. I'm going to take that off too. Anyway, guys, if you like this little joke video, don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. Um, obviously, this is for fun, and... The, the tips are real, but this, I just made it because I was like, hey, you know what? It'd be funny to make a haunt video about this. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Go follow my Instagram page, at coaster, cl coaster underscore clouds one for all my photos and kind of daily vlogs and my new stories. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Ooh, also, I uh, might be meeting Taylor on the 20th. So, Coast Studios, I'm coming for you, bro. I'm coming for you.